Hi everyone, my name is Mackenzie and this is the adult fitness warm up. So put on your favorite song and let's jump right into it. So first we're going to start with just a side step. Nice and easy, get our blood flowing, oxygen to our muscles. So now we can add a lateral raise. Nice and slow and controlled. Try to only go to about parallel. You can go up three quarters if you need. Good job. Keep stepping. Keep moving. Let's get three, two, and last one. Good job. All right, we're going to move into some chest openers. I know a lot of us are sitting down at a computer all day, so our pecs are tight. So just get some nice loose arm swings. Open up our chest. Take some ni nice deep breaths. Good job. After this, we're going to move into some small arm circles. All right. Three, two, one. Arms are parallel to the ground. Going forward. Nice, slow and controlled, small movement. Work on our deltoids. Good job. If we want to work on balance, we can go ahead and stand on one foot. Squeeze your core. Push your belly button through your spine. Let's go ahead and go backwards. If you're feeling really crazy, you can close your eyes. Make sure you're aware of your surroundings. Good job. Let's switch legs. Good. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to do standing oblique. So um, feet hip width apart. You can go ahead and have your hands behind your neck. We're just bending down, firing our obliques to raise our body. This is kind of an end range loading, so if you need to have your hands by your side, you can. You can actually feel your obliques firing up. Good. Try not to push our hip out and just bend at the waist. Fire up. Good job. Fire up. Let's get four more. Four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we're going to go into some bicep with, or sorry, <laughs> we're going to go into a lunge with a bicep curl. So go ahead and lunge forward, curl out our biceps. You can go into a three-quarter lunge if you need. You don't have to go all the way down. Really contract our bicep at the top and squeeze. Alternating legs. Good job. Really squeeze our biceps. Try not to let your knee touch the ground. Actively engaging our core. Good job. Let's get two more. On our last one, we're going to go ahead and stay on the ground in the lunge. Okay, go ahead and go down. So knees on the ground. We're going to push our hips forward. A lot of us are sitting most of the day. So hip flexors are tight. So go ahead and push your hips forward. Good. This leg is at 90 degree angle. Okay, we can go ahead and come back, straighten our leg, lean forward a little bit if you can. You're going to feel it in your hamstrings. Lift up your toe, you'll feel it in your calf. Nice deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. A few more seconds. Good. All right, let's switch legs. 90 degree angle, pushing our hips forward, really sinking to the ground. Good job. This should feel good in your hip flexor. A couple more seconds. Try to refrain from bouncing. Just sitting into the stretch. Okay, go ahead and sit back. Toe towards you. Lean forward. This should feel really good on your hamstrings and your calves. Good job. Nice deep breaths. Focus on our lateral breathing. Breathe into your ribs. Good, all right, next we're gonna lay onto our side and do a little bit of Pilates mat work. So, you lay on your side, head is supported by our hand, okay? This arm's here to stabilize us. Tuck our knees to our chest. So if you have lower back issues, really bring your knees to your chest. Sorry, I'm out of breath, this mask. <laughs> It'll give the pelvic curl so it protects your lower back, so. We're going to hinge at the feet. Just lift up our knee. Nice and easy. We want to keep our hips stacked. 
shoulders stacked. We don't want to open so much that we're falling back. Nice and easy. Very slow and controlled. Working our glutes. Good job, guys. Let's get five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's straighten the legs. So you're out straight, and then you're going to jackknife 45 degrees. So just bring your legs 45 degrees. Point the toe up, up. Flex your foot coming down. Up, up. Flex coming down. Good job. The bottom leg should be actively pressing down. Up, up. Flex coming down. So the pointing and flexing our feet focuses on different muscle fibers. Working our hip adductors. Abductors. Good. Let's get three more. Three. Two. And last one. Good. All right, go ahead and go straight. We're going to grab our foot. Try not to grab right at your ankle. Grab your foot. Nice deep breaths. Stretch our quad. Really sink into the stretch. Try to grab at your foot or above your ankle if you can. Try to keep your leg in line with your hip. Good job, deep breaths. So before we move to the other leg, we're gonna switch and do a little bit of abs. Three more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, let's roll onto our back. So this is called a teaser prep. So you're on your back. One leg can be up if or no legs, okay? So one leg up, you're gonna reach up Hold, come back down. You can also be here and just do crunches. Up to you, but if you're feeling crazy, you can lift up the leg, reach up, hold, really push in your belly button, try to knit your ribs. Come up, hold, good. Exhale as you come up, hold, back down. Let's get three more. Good, I'm gonna switch legs. Come up. Good. Last one. Good job. All right, let's switch legs. Switch to the other side. Sorry, I'm laying on my mic. So, head is supported. Bring our knees to our chest. Hinging up the feet. Just lift up your knee. Remember to keep our hips stacked, shoulders stacked. This hand is supporting us. Same thing, bottom leg is actively pressing down. Good job, your glutes should be firing. Good job. Hinging, nice small movements. Let's get five more. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, go ahead and straighten your legs, and then we're gonna jackknife 45 degrees. Point the toe, up, up, flex coming down. Up, up, flex coming down. Good. Bottom leg is actively pressing down. Squeezing our abs. Working our adductors. Let's get three more. Three, two, and last one. Okay, go ahead and straighten the legs. Grab your foot. Nice controlled breathing. Trying to keep our legs straight. Remember not to grab right at your ankle, but above or below. And nice deep breaths. <sighs> Job, guys. <sighs> After this, we're going to roll onto our stomach and do some swans. So get our back, some back extension. Good job. All right, we're going to roll onto our stomach. So this, if you have lower back problems, you can put a pillow underneath your hips. So we're going to come up. This is also called seal. Depends who you're talking to. If this is too much extension, go ahead and just come up and look up. Really elongating our spine. Nice deep breaths. Go ahead and come back down. This should be a nice stretch. There should be no pain or discomfort. Nice breath. And back down. Let's get one more in. Good job. Where our eyes go, our head goes. So go ahead and 
gaze up toward the ceiling. Good. All right, let's move into child's pose. Release our back. So if you have trouble with this, you can go ahead and widen your legs. It's easier to get into child's pose. And then go ahead and go down. Your head can be on the mat. This is where we really want to focus on our lateral breathing. So if I had my hands on either side of your ribs, you're breathing out, not short, shallow breaths. Let's get two breaths. Good. All right, let's move into cat-cow. So on all fours, we're really going to extend our back, head up, and then go into cat, finding the C curve in our spine. Don't forget to breathe. Where our eyes go, our head goes. For cat, we're arching up, looking down. Good job. Flexion in our spine. And extension. One more. Nice deep breath. Good. All right, we're going to move into... Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> um... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. No, we already did the other side. Sorry. I'm... Oh, we got to work our hamstrings. This. All right, so we're back on our stomach, okay? So this is a Pilates hamstring curl. So we're here. You're going to curl your hamstring in. Your other leg is stretching to the other side of the room, okay? Switch. You're squeezing your hamstring as much as you can. The other leg is lengthening to the other side of the room. Squeeze and switch. Squeeze your hamstrings, alternating. This leg is stretching to the other side of the room. Squeeze. Good job, guys. You're doing good. We're almost there. Squeeze. Alternating legs. Nice deep breaths. Hands are supporting our upper body. Let's get three more. Three, two, and one. All right, let's stretch it out and let's go into figure four. So we're here, right leg crosses over left leg. So the closer you bring this foot to your glutes, the more of a stretch you're gonna get. Also, the more you press forward, the better stretch. If this is uncomfortable for you, you can go ahead and lay on your back and just gently pull in this leg. Do a little ankle rolls, nice deep breaths here job guys okay let's go ahead and switch legs left leg over our right knee press forward or you can go ahead lay on your back gently grab this leg do some more ankle rolls deep breaths good job guys okay three two one we're gonna stay on our back for crisscross, also known as bicycle, but we're gonna take it nice and slow. Extend one leg, twist. Nice, slow and controlled twist. This is a really slow, controlled movement, really pressing our belly button through our spine. Working our abs. Good job, guys. Three, two, and one. Good. All right, let's go ahead and stand up. So we're going to work some rhomboids. So a lot of us are sitting at computers, really bad posture. So let's work our postural muscles. Arms up, elbows up, pinching our shoulder blades together. I don't want to come all the way forward. Nice small movement. Pinch together and back. Here you can see I'm not moving very much. I want my shoulder blades to kiss and then let go. Nice deep breaths, standing nice and tall, shoulders away from our ears. Good job. Pinch together. Two more. Two. And one more for good luck. Okay. Next, we're going to go into some triceps. So, slight bend in the knee, arms here. We're going to extend our arms. You can do both arms at the same time, one arm. Really squeeze our tricep. If you notice I'm a little bit bent forward. Okay. Squeeze our triceps. Eyes looking ahead. Squeeze. 
Good job. Squeeze. Nice deep breath. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good job. Let's get four more to each arm. Four. Three. Last two. Two. And one. All right, let's shake it out. Let's go ahead and stretch our triceps. Arm behind head. Gently pull our elbow down. We don't want to rip our arm off. Try to keep your eyes forward, head up. Deep breaths. Good job. And let's go ahead and switch arms. Nice and easy. Gently pressing down. Head up. Eyes looking forward. Some deep breaths. Good. All right, let's go ahead and shake out our arms and work our or stretch our shoulders. So go ahead and press down away from our ear. Remember, we don't want to put pressure on our elbow. So right here or right here. Pressing down. Nice deep breaths. Good job. This should feel good. No pain or discomfort. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch it out. Switch arms. Pressing our shoulder away from our ear. Good. Remember, not right at the elbow. Gently pulling across our body. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so let's get some cardio in. So for here, for this one, explode off one leg, explode to the other, okay? Lower impact, you come here, explode up without having to jump. Explode up, okay? All right, let's go. Explode up, up. Explode off the leg the best you can. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Explode, up, up. Job, guys. Get a heart rate up. Don't forget to breathe. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Good. All right. Wide stance. Nice deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Joseph Pilates talks about internal showers, so breathing helps heal on a cellular level. And last one. Exhale. All right. Thank you, guys. Great job today, and can't wait to work out with you.